And today we are talking with Joe Cunningham, AKA Joe the Culture. And he is one of our guests who I think in some ways needs no introduction, but I think it's polite to introduce him, so I will. Joe is a world-renowned quilt maker. He's a quilt scholar and historian, and he is someone who has a lot to say about quilts, quilt making, and quilt culture, which is one of the things that I love about him. And I'm really excited to be talking to Joe today. The uh, movement that started in the 70s, this quilt uh, age that we're in, I used to call it a revival. It was like, uh, we called it the quilt revival. But uh, uh, to me, it's turned into an age. It's, it's uh, lasting as long as the golden age of quilts from 1840 to 1870 or so. And you know, I, I'm almost positive that if you tell, if you as a woman, Francis, tell somebody that you're a quilt maker, nobody says, how did you get into that? <laughs> it's not shocking. No it's, it's an American woman's birthright, to, uh, as it should be, uh, to make quilts. She can make her quilt when she's 13 years old. She can make it when she's 93 years old. It doesn't matter. She can make them all her life or make one quilt or whatever, but it's, it's your birthright to make quilts. Right. Uh, and, but for a man, uh, it's those things. It's it's uh, it's weird uh, to because it's a woman's wo uh, world, and I think it's a woman's. It's it, because of all those things that I already mentioned. That it's yeah. uh, women created this world, and that's an absolutely uh, true story. That uh, uh, a quilt show by men is more liable to get mentioned in the press than a quilt show by women, and I'm sorry about that. And I'm hoping that it changes. The quilters have made all kinds of artistic advances that uh, artists did not find, did invent whatever you want to say for another many, many decades. So, but, but. Thank <laughs> you. 